Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to talk to you about finishing techniques and different finishing techniques that we use in Junior Cert Technology and Leaving Cert Engineering. So when a piece is cut from the saw or when a piece is, say, rough filed, you want to put a finish on it. So finishing is done at the end of a project or a piece and it really makes a project stand out when there is good finishing techniques um, completed on it. So the first step of what we do is we use a smooth file. So we draw a file with a smooth file first, and then we can start using our emery paper. So emery paper is done on grits. So we start with a low grit, because the lower the grit, the rougher the sandpaper or emery paper. And you can see there that that's quite a rough finish. So that's the 80 grit. We would then move up to maybe a 180 grit. So you see there, and you can visibly see that that is smoother. And then finally, we've got a 220 grit. So the 220 grit is very fine emery paper. We then have steel wool. So steel wool really gives a nice finish to acrylic or metal. And then we've got the peak polish. So I'm going to show you each different step of finishing. And this is a sequence that needs to be followed very carefully. And it doesn't take very long, a couple of minutes on each of the steps. So once again, smooth file, 80 grit, rough emery paper, medium grit uh, 180 and then the fine 220 steel wool and then peak polish so you can see here now we've got a quite a rough finish on the plastic so i'm going to start draw filing it smooth now so after the smooth file you can visibly see a difference so something I forgot to say about the emery paper is to make the most out of it, we wet the emery paper and we wrap it around a file. And once again, you're just rubbing it along. So now we're moving on to the 180 grit. So we've done our 80 already. So now we're on to our last grit of emery paper, we're on the 220 grit. So you can start to see the difference in the finish now and what you can do to tell is just rub a finger on it and you can tell how smooth it is. So now we're getting our steel wool for our next uh, second last finishing technique. So we're at the end now, so with the peak polish, you kind of have to be willing to get your hands dirty for this. So I put a bit of peak polish on it and a tissue. So now we're finished our, all our steps. If you see here, you can visibly see the difference on the finish. So here's an unfinished piece that's very rough and you can see the lines. And here is a finished piece that has followed all the steps from 80 grit to 180 to 220 to steel wool to peak. Thanks for watching everybody and I will see you all in the next video.